Hello and welcome. I'm Jana Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and this is the place where we talk about macro and landscape photography, post-processing, behind the scenes, equipment, you name it and we will chat about it. Today's deep dive question comes from John. And I think it's an amazing question that's happening at this moment and kind of happens periodically as software programs compete against each other. So let me read his question to you. He says, hi Janice, trying to get around the recent software releases on the market. Lightroom CC, new cloud only version in Lightroom, Lightroom, which is the Lightroom Classic, Aurora, Luminar, 2018 on one photo raw 2018 capture one pro 10 photoshop cc 2018 and then he asks do you have opinions on all of these options which have you settled on and do you use more than one yeah i do use more than one but what's such a good question about this is yes we are so bombarded with software because the software programs are very cool and exciting to push our creations in our own work and they know it i'll even add more topaz dxo perfectly clear there's so many what are we to do help I really do feel like that when it comes to software. So again, that's a great question, especially during times like this, when the companies do update and they have those pre-sales. That's another one, pre-sales. Oh my gosh, you get all this fun stuff to go with pre-sales. So which one are you to choose? Well, this is my suggestion. At this moment, Adobe products are pretty strong. Yes, it could change. Things change all the time. AOL was huge, it's gone. Well, it's there, but it's not really that big anymore. So Adobe could lose out on some of these amazing software programs. But with that said, at the moment in 2017, almost 2018, we are getting ready for a new year and Adobe products are pretty strong because Lightroom and Photoshop are combined at $9.99 a month. It's a great price. Anytime they update, you get free updates. You don't have to pay for any more updates. So that is something that's pretty strong. If you're a beginner, I would choose Lightroom and Photoshop to start off with. Lightroom really catalogs and gets all your basic adjustments. You could even go a step further with Lightroom, but I don't want to get into that. Photoshop is the next level where you can really get into manipulating different parts of your photograph. So that tool is very strong also. What I suggest to John is to really do some research on the various programs and softwares and plugins that are out there first before you buy anything. They all have trials. So try them and really make sure that when you push that trial button that you have time to try them because it is overwhelming when you first start a new software for sure. But really, to tell you the truth, the sales are really not a reason to purchase any of these. It's great to have the perks if you're already planning to buy them. But don't buy them just because you're getting all these great video tutorials and all these plugins and all that stuff. Because truly, what's going to happen is you're just going to get flustered and you just wasted your money. What you want to do is make sure that you have a program that will take your photography to the next level. And that's what it's all about. It's about you and what you want to express yourself. Those programs will help you for sure. I just want to thank John again for asking that amazing question and for all of you that have asked questions and for me to make these deep dive videos. I totally appreciate you. If you have questions on particular software, go ahead and ask down below in the comments section. The best place to answer your questions is at SullivanJPhotography.com. Leave a comment below and join the conversation. And while you're at it, sign up for my challenge. Once you sign up, you'll receive free textures and an email from me about every other week to inspire you to get up close and personal with your camera. Plus, only subscribers receive the best sales we have to offer. 
Did you like this video? How about a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel? And I'd love it if you would share this with your friends. And a huge thank you for watching. Remember to express yourself with your photography. A thousand words does make a difference. I'm Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and I help you get up close and personal with your camera. Have a great day. Thank you.